Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, welcome to Glitter Gulch Mine, where there's a lot of stuff to deal with. And a lot of it is going to be very annoying. So let's see what we can do here. Can we do anything with this? No, you can't. Can we get up here? Again, no, you can't. Because we don't have the moves yet. Oh, wait a minute, there's a Globo! We can get that! At least we were able to accomplish something! That means Mumbo or Wumba are near here. Is there anything under the water? Doesn't look like it, and I did not mean to do that. Okay... I do see a switch... But I think that's the one you actually are not supposed to press yet until you have the running shoes on. Speaking of which, they're right over here. So let's take care of that. So first you actually have to hit the switch. And then you go that way. So we're not going to worry about anything else here yet. Instead, we're just going to follow the water. And then you can go in here. But you have, like, a limited amount of time. Cool thing is, you can run on water, so you can harness your inner Jesus. I bet you if you could run this fast, they wouldn't have caught him. Okay, that was weird. I think it was the cutscene that did it. Because, you know, like, the cutscene where you're waiting for the gate to open, and then that happens? Well, on the plus side, we, we gave ourselves a nice enough head start. Yay! We did it! Okay, this is the waterfall cavern. Oh, wait, wait, there was a jiggy up here, too. He thinks I should grab that. That jiggy was actually easy to obtain. Uh, is there anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. So I guess we can just drop down safely. I do see, like, another one of those rocks with Kazooie's head on it that we can't do anything with, so we'll come back to that another time. But for now, at least we got that Jiggy out of the way. The water storage. I do see a bit of dynamite. It takes five eggs to get rid of it. Cool. Let, if we see another one of those, we'll try the fire eggs. It'll probably take less, because I imagine fire eggs being a little bit more powerful. Not to mention that's a box of dynamite, so I'd imagine fire would detonate it. Jolly Roger Lagoon Water. I think that's stage four. So, yeah, there's that. This water looks very murky. But there's a treble clef right here. Beautiful. Alright. Well, the water seems safe, because you don't lose oxygen faster. Wait, I hear a Jinjo. Could be one of the water tanks. Alright, let's try Fire Egg. Oh, okay, I'm way too close. Let's back up a little bit. Two eggs. Well, it's better than five. So let's get up here, then. And then we'll just dive right down. A Cheeto page! Cool. We'll go grab that. Because can. Now, how the hell do you get up here? I mean, I see a Jinjo. Sadly, we have no means to get up there. There might be another way. Let's check around this first to see if there's like any way you can climb up there. I doubt it, but we'll try. For the Jinjo's sake. And it looks like we're probably not going to be able to find a way to get up there. Oh, that respawned. Gotta move away from that. Okay, we'll have to leave that Jinjo alone, sadly. Until we find another way to get up there. 
Okay, now we're back in the main part of the mine. Oh, there's a warpad. We're gonna take advantage of that. And we'll check out the shed. The crushing shed. Don't think I'd want to spend my time in here. Let me say that much right now. So, I guess we'll come back here later. I would imagine we'd have to do something else here before we, uh, deal with that. Just saying. It involves that. And it looks like I need Mumbo for this. Um, guess we'll go up here then. Get more notes. Beautiful. Okay. Ow, that was dumb. I'm wondering if could I could just get up here... I'd imagine it wouldn't be possible at this rate, so let's forget about that completely. Wait, I came from there, but I haven't been in here. Is there anything of value in here? Oh, you almost had me right in the face, but I got the last laugh. Looks like I can't do anything with that yet. I'll have to come back later. I think the transformation in this stage allows me to deal with uh, bits of dynamite. So yeah, we'll come back later. For now, let's just move on. And do a little bit of exploration. We can actually go this way now. Like, we might as well just check out the rest of this area. Because we can. And it would be nice to, like, clear up as much stuff as possible. Looks like I need to do something with that. So we'll come back later, once we can do something about it. But sadly, we cannot yet. Let's check out this little shed. Oh, but before we do... Oh, I said before we do... Might as well get these notes that I missed. What is in here, anyway? Let's find out. Oh, that's a prospector's hut. Howdy! Who might you be? I'm Bill! I'll bet your other name is gold-related. What is it? Gold Bar Bill? Klondike Bill? No, Bullion Bill's my name. Thought so. What's up, Bill? My run partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold, but she's been gone for too long. We'll keep a lookout for her. Not so fast, Banjo! Make sure he makes it worth our while. Oh, okay. Can we have a prize if we find her? You city folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. We already know where she is. Eek! I'm sure I came in through a tunnel. You did. You came in through that one. Okay, let's see what else we can get over here. Maybe if we go this way. Yeah, we can't do anything about that boulder even from this side. We actually have to do it from the Mayhem Temple side once we get the move required to destroy these boulders. But sadly, a grenade egg is not it. Also, I heard a Jinjo. Where did it come from? Oh, there you are. Okay, one of three yellow Jinjos. Awesome. That was not awesome. <laughs> that was dumb. But what's up here? Have I looked up the uh, yellow parts? Oh, another one of those boulders I can't do anything with. But I haven't gone... Wow. That wasn't even that big a lot leap anyway. Uh, I guess we can go down here. To mine entry three. There's so many entries in the mine that it's just ridiculous. The gloomy caverns. Ugh. And what's in here? I would imagine there's gonna be lots of fire. The generator cavern. 
Warning! Unreliable generators! Use at your own risk! Okay, if I remember correctly, you need fire eggs in order to move on. Once you hit them with a fire egg, you'll be able to see. I don't know how long it will last, though. Hopefully forever. But, let's face it, if it's unreliable, that means it's just gonna give out after what... Yeah. That did not take long. Okay, take your time. It's probably one of those rare instances where going really fast can burn you. Because I'm using fire eggs, get it? Huh. You don't get it. Okay. We can go that way. Which may not be a bad idea in the slightest. Or we can go up. Probably wouldn't be able to go up at all, because maybe that ladder is just too high for us. This music sounds really evil, I'm telling ya. And it's not an evil place, really. It's just dark. Hey. Don't go trying any crap on me. Oh, this is a different skill one. Oh wait, no it's not, never mind. Like, there are ones that actually just go in random places that you have to watch out for. Oh, this just takes you back, okay. And there's our Jiggy! Yay! Jiggy get! And there's a ladder, which allows you to go down here. Which is actually back where you started. Beautiful. Uh, was there anything else here? I felt like there was something else here. So let me go through all this again. Like, it would be too easy if that was just only the one thing. So I'm gonna go around this once, and then we'll just leave. Yeah, I think there was only the one thing. Alright, that's cool. Oh, wait a minute, I missed the uh, generator. It's right over here. Okay, it didn't even look like I hit that, but it registers as a hit, apparently. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. If it just means I s can continue. Nicely done. Like, why even have a generator right here? It's like, what purpose does it even serve right here? Oh, wait a minute. What's this generator, then? I can't hit it from that side. Okay. Maybe I will go back just to, uh, get to the very top, and then start hitting other generators. I should be doing that, too, if I'm really close to a generator. It saves me a little bit of busy work. Oh. Unless you miss completely, for some strange reason. Um... Is it well worth it going through all this trouble again? I certainly hope it is. I hate to think I'm doing this and not getting any reward for it. I'm wasting all your time. Like, you guys got better things to do as well, I'm telling you that much right now. Yeah, because I can... I speak on behalf... Oh. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Maybe there was nothing here to begin with. Who knows? Yeah, let's just uh, go back this way. No, wait. It's this side. I should get some more of those, uh, fire eggs. Because I use a lot of them. So, yeah. Let's just go about our merry way now. Um... What should we do next, then? Because I'm all over the place. Maybe we should go to Mumbo's general area. Because, look, there's more notes. Can't do anything about the mine entry too yet, but we can unlock this warp. Oh, oh, 
can't believe I missed that. Like, there's a move here. Like, maybe there's three moves or two moves? Let's see the totals. Oh, it doesn't tell you what moves you get here. Okay, that's fine. I got 80 notes already. That's crazy. Well, I guess we'll just give Mumbo his global right now. Don't see why not. We'll just find another one anyway. We found one near Wumba, so I guess we'll find Mumbo's real soon as well. Let's check if it's actually behind his uh, throne. It's not. That would have been a neat way to trick us. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a global! Here we go. Sure, we need all that blah blah blah. Here we go. It's yours. Okay, let's see what Mumbo can do here, other than that uh, boulder that we saw near the uh, crushing shed. Mumbo moves fast as well. Um, there's more than one thing you can do here as Mumbo. I know that much. Outside the crushing shed. Let's go there. That one we've already seen. And I think the one near the train station. Alright, let's do it. Let's levitate this jiggy boulder. I imagine would give us a jiggy. That could not be any more obvious. That's it. Get in the hole. Is it gonna fit in the hole? Looks like it just might barely fit. There, you just go right over here to get crushed. Perfect. Oh, Mumbo seems tired. Alright, let's go near the train station. Which, of course, is right over here. Am I missing anything? No. Okay, go around that, will ya? Let's see what Mumbo can do in the train station. I feel like he should be able to do something, which he can. Trains on the track off the tracks. We need to fix that. No, oh, his name is Chuffy. That's a, such an adorbs name. That's it. Get up. Get up. Get right back on the tracks. How the hell did that train even get off the tracks anyway? Was the original driver drunk? I'm telling ya. <laughs> oh, oh god, that, that's an enemy. Can I do something with that shovel? There. You're not gonna be burying any more talents anytime soon, Triple H. Uh, can you go in here? I wouldn't go down there if I were you! There are bad things in there! Yeah, Mumbo is not that great either, so, uh, let's just leave. Let's get back to the mine. You've done pretty much all you need to do, Mumbo. So I think you can just head back home. Oh, there's that Globo over there. That's that one we can give to Wumba. So we kind of got our Wumba our global placements in reverse. <laughs> cool. Oh, don't be groaning. You had lots of fun. Seriously, get over yourself. <laughs> First, let's get that globo while we still can. Because we'll be needing it anyway. And, uh... Probably just head over to the train. 
we'll do that first while we still can. We can also go to the crushing shed as well. May not be such a bad idea in the grand scheme of things. But first, the train. Also, we haven't even found a single move in this stage yet. That blows my mind. First, let's check inside the train. This is my train control pad. Okay, then... Can you do something? Ugh, you'll have to battle me before you go anywhere. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like it came from inside that boiler. We have to go inside a boiler. There are so many things in life that tell me that that's not a safe thing to do. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a Jiggy. Why are you walking on this stuff? Old King Cole, the grubby boiler monarch. Urgh, who dares enter Old King Cole's boiler? Um, I'm Banjo, and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. Urgh, you would, huh? In that case, I'll fight you for it. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. Urgh, not me, pal. But you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny heads. Ouch. Okay, we got ourselves a time limit here. So we gotta do something about this guy fast. <sighs> Let's see how you cope with a little heat. Okay, so I'm guessing we gotta do something with this. No? Okay, we gotta do something against him. It doesn't look like we have a general idea yet. Or maybe we have to hit him from behind. Nope, that's not it. Do we have to use grenade eggs, even though you get them like a stage after? Arr! No great loss. I still got another. Yeah, you keep saying that, but eventually you'll lose that one, too. Ugh, but I don't need arms to beat you! Oh, you'll be surprised. What about legs? Ugh, perhaps we should sit down and talk about this? Oh, there you are. Done. Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all. But don't you dare hit anything. I've only just polished. Oh, you gave me a jiggy too. Much a preach. Cause you know you nearly tried to kill me and all. I do not think grenade eggs were actually necessary. Because you actually got them like after this place. But I guess they were good to have. Or maybe regular eggs could have done them in too. I don't know. Oh well, at least we got that taken care of. So with that, we can actually use the train. You have to stand on this? Oh. There's no train stations over for my train to go to. Oh, okay. Maybe we can find ourselves one. Are you blind? Chuffy is right in front of you! Wow, you're rude! You are a bit of a jerk realize that, right? We can't go there as Banjo-Kazooie either, apparently. Uh, let's check out this little area. Is there anything inside the wagon? No. Okay. We pretty much accomplished a lot here. At least we got this, this train available for us. And that train will actually come in handy not just in this level, but in other levels. So, let's see what else we can do here before we call in an episode. Preferably, I like to get, like, one new move. If we can find one. 
it should not be hard to find, because I mean, what, there's how many of them? Like, two or three? And so far we found zero? So maybe it's harder than I realize? Uh, maybe we'll find one up here? No, that's where we found Bill. Alright. Can you pay my bills? <laughs> I did not mean to do that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should let Wumba do some work. Yeah, let, let's have Wumba have some fun. Before we call it an episode. Oh, we'll create ourselves a little warp over here. Yeah, I'll give it to ya. Though, to Globo, I mean. <laughs> Don't word that in any inappropriate ways. <laughs> That'd just be too easy, and also, she's not real. Okay, you turn into, like, a dynamite plunger. Oh, you're, well, detonator, rather. Press B for self-destruct attack. The thing I don't like about this move is that if you use it, you will take damage. However, if you use it in specific areas, preferably in areas where you can just hook up to... Well, you actually do it automatically. You can blow up the dynamite and access more areas. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, the Canary Cave. Oh god, this stuff is very toxic. Can I, like, uh... Break this? Over here! I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament! Who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice! I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry, I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Or maybe I can do this. Help me out of this cage, please! Okay, that does not work. Uh, that's a thought that counts, I suppose. Uh, there's probably somewhere else we can go. Luckily, you can go up these hills with relative ease. That would have been so annoying if you couldn't. I think I'm gonna warp somewhere. Okay, I'm trying to remember, like, where exactly you found the, uh... the tunnel that led to, like, another barrel of dynamite that you can blow up. It wasn't this way. No, it wasn't this way. I think it was over in this direction, actually. Yeah, it, w it was right here. So if we blow this up, keep out, huh. Now we have this area available to us. Can I go in there as like a pile of dynamite, or do I have to be Banjo and Kazooie? Oh, this is a flood of caves. I think we should not go in there as dynamite. That might be a bad idea. I'm just saying. Alright, so, we're a little all over the place, but at least we got some stuff done. So, in the next episode, why don't we go continue on in Glitter Gulch Mine and hopefully find ourselves our first moves. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.